it's just right there. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I want to color these. And I'm going to do that with, these are blocks of wax color. You can also get bottles of liquid color. And I keep all these things in plastic bags because you don't want to accidentally get, have spillage from anything. And you can see it's a good idea to have them because obviously there was some excess color left on the bottom and it got onto the bag. So anyways, all you do, this is the wax color. I think this is aqua. You just shave it with a sharp knife right into, and I do this slowly. I don't do very much of this at a time. And if you don't want to do a knife, you can also use a vegetable peeler that you have dedicated to candle making. And I just shave a little bit in, not too much, just a teeny tiny bit. And I actually think these candles I also want to make scented. So, and then with, also with a wooden stir, a wooden dowel, you can just mix that up. Those wax colors melt right into the paraffin wax. So you just take your scent and you drop it in. And for about two pounds of melted wax, you need a half ounce of scent. So. This is half an ounce, and I already poured one candle, so I'll probably add about half of this bottle. Okay, perfect. Very good. Just squeeze that in there. It's a good idea to cap these right after use. No accidental spilling possible. Just stir that scent around, and now we can pour a candle. So, fragrance right before you pour. I'm going to go quite high with this one. All the way up. All right. So there's that. And now you just let those sit and kind of finish off. So you can also make candles in glass containers. So right here I have my glass container. Make sure it's clean. And you just pour wax right into it. as high as you want your candle. Now these actually have a lid so I have to make sure and only go three quarters of the way up so that at the end I can put this lid back on. So you let that set up for just a couple seconds and you're, for this poured glass container candle you're going to need a pre-made wick and you can get these at the craft store and they come in different heights so you can do different sizes of candles and all you do is just point this right down right into the middle and just let that sit. Now one thing with these candles after you let them harden you're gonna have to do a second pour because as you can see right in here as the wax cools it condenses and you get kind of well a place where you need more wax it doesn't look right so all you do for this is just do the second pour and it's best to let these dry overnight um, to get a total condensation of the wax. You don't want to accidentally pour wax that hasn't condensed all the way. It happens. Um, it's just good to do this overnight. And all you do is really simple. Just pour this right in slowly right until it's level. And you let that one dry. And then when you're all done, you can see it's nice and flat up here. So you just let that go. Actually, I'll put that right here. And then this is how I save some of my leftover wax and I get it ready for chunk candles. I pour it into a votive mold. I should show this. This makes six votives. And to use this, you actually need to get slightly shorter wicks, but you get the idea. And then you just free pour all those right in. But I use this for saving my colored wax. And it's good to do this um, because for the second pour, you might want to have the exact same color wax. So with this, you'll have the exact same color. Um, sometimes I just do the second pour with some white. Or not white, with just plain wax melted down. And it is a really good idea to make sure you protect your work area. Um, I've got brown paper bags. Because no matter how hard you try, you always seem to spill just a little bit of wax. 
and it's good to be able to pick that right up. Nobody cares about brown paper bags. It's a lot easier to get it off of that than a tablecloth or a piece of fabric. Right there. Perfect. So I'll just turn this off. I'm done with that. I've saved all my wax. I've poured all my candles. And I think I'm good to go. So I'll just let these harden. Oh, actually, I have some right here. I can show you what they look like. Now, I think this is a plain candle. Let me just trim this wick. And all you need to do to release it, I like to hold the candle with my finger just in case it's really ready to come off. And you just scratch this off with your nail, the mold sealer. And with your scissors, you cut the knot. Kind of scratch that off. And oh, sometimes they just plop right out. Not this one though. It's going to need a little bit of pulling. A little bit of shaking. Oh, there it goes. A candle I made myself. This is a plain candle. No extra wax. And you can see it's a nice blue color. And then this should be a chunk candle. Cut off your knot. Oh, yep. This one wants to come right out. And this one has a slightly different look, a little bit more texture to it. And that's what you get with the chunks. So I'm glad I actually had those to show you what these will look like finished. And at the end, I'll make sure and show you a picture of all the finished candles. I'm glad you watched. Um, I hope you learned a little something from this. And I hope you try it.